Hey you guys. Um, yeah, sorry I'm a little bit late. Um, Joshua's not really feeling well, so I had to go check on him, take him some meds and stuff, and I got home a little bit later from work than I really anticipated getting home. So, yeah, good times. <clears throat> um, oven is preheating currently to 400. You are going to take a while. <clears throat> I'm defrosting some of the black beans I've made. I'm gonna bake the chicken off on a tray. This is actually from earlier today when he made his breakfast. So, the rack is clean. So. <clears throat> now let's get started on the slicing and the dicing. That's actually bring this over here. Just cleaned it, but okay. <clears throat> get my bowls. <clears throat> These are the bell pepper, the little sweet peppers I had from last night. No sense in tossing them. Gotta make sure they get used. <clears throat> Or, excuse me, two parts water. <clears throat> you know how to make rice. That on the back burner there. Move the board a little bit. <clears throat> we'll catch up. Put that on high, bring it to a boil. Last night I could I could have got some bell peppers, but I figured I all I literally already have these. I might as well use them. Because <clears throat> last time I bought these, I kind of sat in the fridge and I forgot about them, and I threw them away. And I felt bad about it. Just wasting money. Beans are still so frozen. <clears throat> you can use any kind of black beans or any kind of beans you really want. Garbanzo beans. Are the absolute best, like protein, fiber, nutrition wise. I hate them in their original form. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Like, I physically cannot stand them, it's a texture thing for me. <clears throat> so, I'm using black beans that I made and have been in the freezer. Again. I was thinking I need to stop by and get some beans for the bowls, but I was like, there's no point in that. So. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I appreciate it. <clears throat> yes. I really wanted to have a good bit of this prep before I went online, but I said seven. And I went online seven oh five. So, hey Ann, how are you? And here the rice is now finally starting to come to boil. 
Remember, one part rice, two parts water, by volume. We'll cook pretty much any rice out there. Rice will be the base of our bowls. Then I've got some avocado I'm going to put in mine. Uh, he doesn't really care for avocado, so it's not going to go in his. So I'm doing very well, Ann. Thank you. Just had a busier day than expected. <clears throat> what I'm doing now is I'm cutting up some sweet peppers I had, just like some little bell peppers. You are going to be the bane to my existence tonight. I can feel it. <clears throat> so, those are cut up. <clears throat> Let me grab me an onion. Gonna make some quick pico as well. the onion I'm gonna actually cook off the other half is gonna go into the pico because I've got two Roma tomatoes that I need to use and that'd be perfect for pico head top and tail the onion remember to the back but not through the back <clears throat> I am going a little fast tonight let's call a spade a spade I've eaten <clears throat> a snack pack of edamame today, and I am starving. So, yeah. Not to mention, he's sick and hungry as well, so. Mushrooms too. <clears throat> Let's get rid of this. Okay. When you're doing the pico, you want to do it a little bit smaller, not a super bit smaller, but it's more of a preference thing. I like them about the same size I like my tomatoes. So I use Roma tomatoes for this. Oven preheated yet? Yeah. Well, chicken's not quite ready. <sighs> Onion skin's being an asshole. Ah, oh, thank God. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get the chicken going. Now, I'm gonna cheat tonight when I do the chicken because I do have. 75,000 packs of like seasoning mixes and things like that. <clears throat> I got a bunch one time from Walmart. They're still good, so I'm going to use them. Y'all know I can very easily do my own stuff, and I have many times. <clears throat> if anybody wants my recipe for fajita seasoning, let me know. I'll tell it to you right now. I just don't have a lot of time tonight. Bye, me, Sierra. Hey, D. <clears throat> so, in the bag, half of the seasoning, half of the, I'm just gonna splash, half the pack of seasoning, half the thing of water. my tray set up right here to dump it all out get my tongs here spread it out a little bit more give it a little bit of room on the pan and now to jazz it up 
just a skosh, I'm going to be using some chipotle powder. Where is my chili powder? I have chili chipotle powder. <clears throat> Rice needs to come down. Put that second to cool down a bit. Good sprinkling of chipotle powder on top of here. And in the oven you got. Hey Google, set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, it's starting now. <clears throat> I said to cool down. This thing's going way too hot right now. Okay, chicken is in. <clears throat> Gonna dice our onion a good bit smaller. Like y'all see, I'm making a thousand and seven cuts on this thing, but I can still pick it up and it all stays together. To the back, but not through the back. I'm just going straight down. Oh, I saw online today. <clears throat> I was waiting on an order. I did DoorDash now. This most recent season of Worst Cooks, they, um, and spoiler alert, I guess, uh, it was removed from every streaming service. Uh, Food Network pulled it, and they said they were going to pull it because the lady who won, who is from Greenville, South Carolina, so about two hours from here, apparently is now facing murder charges for the, I'm not sure the term they use, abuse and neglect homicide for her four-year-old foster daughter. Her and her husband both are in jail now because they found her dead, essentially. <clears throat> And yeah, like, oh my God, that is just crazy. Ugh. <clears throat> Peek. Got our onions in here. I'm gonna hit with the lime right now. <clears throat> Always put your onions in first. Hit it with the lime juice. Lime is acid. Acid cooks things. <clears throat> They'll still be nice and crunchy, but Actually, let me just paint. Actually, that flavor. Actually, the chocolate powder. And get me a spoon. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually mix this now. Give it a good mix, let the onions do their thing with the lime juice and the salt in here. Because that'll help soften them up just sitting on the counter. Boom. Now we're going to get started on the mushrooms. <clears throat> yeah, I've heard, like, uh, mm -mm, no, no, no. Just, I'm, mm, I'm mad about the whole damn thing. Especially since now I can't watch it. But even if I could... You know, I wouldn't want to watch it, <clears throat> but I really, really wanted to watch it because this Alex Cornicelli was the chef going against Chef Anne, and I absolutely love her. Like, if you can find any of the cooking, her cooking videos online, like during Worst Cooks, I highly recommend them. It is hypnotic to watch. <clears throat> it is straight up hypnotic. Just the way she does everything is, oh my God. So phenomenal. <clears throat> Little bit of bacon. You know, get the protein wherever we can. And I wanna make sure I can use this bacon up too. This is two slices. I know it looks like it's four, but it's technically two full slices because of two rashers because I cut the whole thing in half when I get it. Because these are easier to work with and it'll fit in all pans. So why not? All right, let that do its thing for a minute. <clears throat> can wash. Mushrooms. 
Well, the I know what you're saying about knowing how terrible she is, making it worse to watch. But the my whole thing is I want to see Alex. <laughs> like I love Alex Gordon She's so amazing. P.S. And by the way, don't ever do what I just did to these mushrooms. I just don't really have time tonight. Turn that down. I want to render the fat off of those. <clears throat> yeah, mushrooms absorb water. So I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. The mushrooms are also covered in dirt because they grow in the dirt. Dirt is necessary. Doesn't mean you have to eat it. So, yeah. Oh, that's still, that's nice and juicy. Let's just get all that water up there. You can, use, you can use pepper towel for it, of course. I don't tend to do that. Just because, why use pepper towel when I have a rag? But I can just go in the washing machine and reuse a thousand times. <clears throat> Try not to create as I try to create as little trash as possible, especially like the one time use things like paper towels and such, just because. You know, everyone's got to do their part. I don't want a stem. I have a stem in here already, but and it's going to be fine. Yeah. We'll press these out. You can eat the stems, they're totally fine. They're just rather fibrous. Now something I prefer. Do a quick on these mushrooms. Just cut it in half, turn it. About six, seven cuts down the center. Maybe three, because this one's much smaller. So center, one, two, three. Yeah, that works. I just bought these the other night. I meant to actually put them in the chicken cacatory uh, recipe I did last night. But I 100% forgot about it, so it didn't happen. Like, we were sitting down eating, and I was like, this is missing something. And I was like, shit, fucking mushrooms. flipping. <clears throat> Again, it's like a, just at a medium heat, I just want to get the fat out of the bacon, because I'm going to use the fat to cook all my veg. Maybe stems. Put it on the disposal. Get this with a little more lime. That's good. Mix, mix, mix. I'm going to get some cayenne too. Actually, I want to burn tonight. The cayenne is, of course, 100% optional. You do not have to do that. I want to do it, so I'm doing that. Let's take him back up. Use that tomorrow for breakfast. One of the reasons I like to have my giant board here. So I like this bacon here. These two pieces are done. Set them on the corner there. You can see that about one more minute. And they'll be done. And mix, 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 mix. The veggies. Need some chipotle. My veggies also be some cayenne. Oh, thank you, D. Congrats on you moving in with your with your with your bow. I saw that. All of us around the quilting circle were wondering when you was gonna settle down. Hey Megan. I poured out a little bit of the bacon grease. I just poured it into my garbage bowl there because I'm not going to use that much. Throw in the peppers, onions. 
mushrooms. All of these cook at about the same time, so it's not really going to be a huge deal kind of thing. Oh, you go back in there. But whenever you toss it in, you want to make sure you mix everything up really well. There's going to be plenty, <coughs> excuse me, plenty of water coming out of the mushrooms and everything. So they might need a little bit of help initially. A quick little spritz. It'll also help deglaze the pan. But we're also going to do another trick we're going to use white wine we're going to use some of red wine vinegar at the end of this too hey google how long on the timer you've got nine minutes and 34 <clears throat> seconds to go nine minutes cool get the rest of our fajita seasoning in here notice i'm not adding any salt because this is salty as like af so <clears throat> a little bit of oil in here Beans. Still getting <clears throat> like 30 second blast now. Get this going. <clears throat> so we got the saltiness from the bacon in here. We've got the smokiness from the bacon in here. Got the chicken going into there. All of this has just been um, veg so far, so don't worry about cross contamination or anything. Take our bacon, which is cooler to the touch. It's still cooking pretty hot, but cooler to the touch. Put that up, throw that in there. Make sure it's not poisoned. Oh good, it's not. The, I don't really want to do that much work. Just watch the videos online. <laughs> You really don't want to do a recipe book. I've done them before. They're a nightmare. Like I did one just for me, um, which every recipe in there is so outdated at this point. Everyone's been so upgraded. I did it through like a Shutterfly or something, and it was it turned out it turned out great, but it took me like 14 hours of day one, then 37 hours on day two of just sitting there and organizing and getting everything and blah 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 blah. And I was just like, I don't care. I'm done. Ugh. Stir, stir, stir. Check that. Okay. Oh, I have three Roma tomatoes. Cool. I'll use one for breakfast tomorrow. <clears throat> Put that there. And again, nothing I have to worry about for cross contamination to touch this board, which is really cool. Get my garbage bowl back. <clears throat> I like to put the bacon grease and like beef grease and stuff like that into a bowl, or I grab a dirty plate and put it on there. Once it solidifies, you scrape it into the trash. Because, yeah, it can. Animal fat and hydrogenated vegetable fats will um, clog, your, clog your sink. So, instead of running hot water down for 45 minutes, like I did the entire time growing up, somebody said, just put it aside and dump it later. I'm like, shit, that makes all the sense. So, yeah, there's bacon grease in my little garbage bowl here. Just quartering these Roma maters. Then I'm going to dice them up, mix them in with my cilantro, which them in with my onions over here. Then I'm going to add some cilantro to it and a touch of cumin just to bring out some more flavor. Seasoning and that's all. Okay. Oh, where's that rag? It's just a lot of bacon crumbly bits and stuff in my way and I don't like it. Turn that 
turn, 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 turn. Mix, 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 mix. Yeah, D, honestly, you shouldn't need any help um, with ha with any of this recipe. You worked where for how many years? You know how to make this stuff. Like, I'm not doing a copycat of theirs tonight or anything, but, yeah, that would be actually really easy to do. Well, if I did it, I'd do Chipotle's. <laughs> Chipotle's food is so much better than Moe's. It is. But most I took free chips and salsa and the five dollar burrito days. If Chipotle did a five dollar burrito day, like they'd have my business for life. But they don't. And they're gonna charge chips like an asshole. Sorry, I'm not looking up a whole lot right now, just because while I am, let's say, more than proficient with a knife, I also know damn well better than to sit here and be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. No. That's how you lose a finger. Especially with my knife. My knife is sharp as fuck. Here I am, she said we're gonna hit this shit with some red wine vinegar. Do I even have any? That's white wine. That would work, I guess. Am I out of red wine vinegar? I shouldn't be. Look, like I just used it. Well, use white vinegar then. That's fine. Zing. What they fire you for? I didn't know you got fired. Well, also, we stopped going to like, girl, you realize I've known you for like seven years now? At least like seven or eight years. I'm not even kidding at this point. And I haven't actually seen you since a Monday, a long, long ago. Ugh. Okay. All these in here, all these in here, and you little last straggler bucks go in there. Get our cilantro. <clears throat> like a lot of cilantro. Uh, yeah, I don't really have time to be picking these herbs, but if I bite into a stem, I'll burn a building down. So, if you notice that your like peppers and onions mixture here is getting a little bit too thick, you can always add a little bit more water to it. Vinegar is more for flavor. So these stems out of here as I can. I hate biting down the stems. <clears throat> this is what takes me so damn long with the compound butter is me standing here for two hours. Literally stemming because I don't want stems in my butter. You're not paying for stems. I feel like it's like weed man rules. You don't want stems and seeds. You want the leaves. But luckily for y'all, I consider my time worthless. So. Okay, I think that's 
not good. Just a little bit of water. <clears throat> so it doesn't try to burn. If you have water or something in the pan, make sure you swirl it all around, get it everywhere. Because you're essentially trying to keep the keep it from burning the bottom of the pan. <clears throat> Put water on one side, this side, this side's gonna burn. So yeah. <sighs> hey Google, stop. It's just like I feel the red has a sharp has like oh, a more well-rounded flavor. Honestly, either one will work. But it's just the type of wines they're made from, too. Like, it's chicken, so traditionally you go with white. But, yeah. You can use red wine with chicken. I've done it a thousand times. I did it last night with the chicken catch story. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cilantro is picked. Bastard. Go ahead and kill that. Check on my chicken. Good, a minute or so. Faster. All my cilantro. Run my knife through it a whole bunch of times. But yeah, any veggies you want to put in here is totally cool. Uh, mushrooms, peppers, onions, zucchini works great. Squash, you name it. We both love cilantro, so boom, a little bit in there too. <clears throat> Turn it off, yeah. If you're gonna add like fresh herbs, like I just did, put it in at the very ends. This way, they keep their color too. And you get all that good flavor. Is that a pill? How? How, dog? I swear to God, this fucking dog. Pico, done, rice, test. Also the rag candy, yay. Mm -mm. Another minute. There we go. Yep. Rice has a little bit of a bite to it. So. Yeah, girl, he's not even allowed in the kitchen. That's like the absolute fucking best part. He is not allowed in this kitchen in any way, shape, or form. Like, he is fussed at all the time. Because <clears throat> he knows he's not allowed in the kitchen. And he'll, like, try to come in here while we're cooking or whatever. And it's just like, nope. Not today, Satan. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Um, at this point, I think we're just waiting on the rice, honestly. Um, the chicken out. Yeah, that look yum. And the fat that did bring her off the sides fell to the bottom. So, cool. What did this touch? Bacon. I think. <laughs> This piece here. Didn't unroll. Are you cooked in the middle? Let's find out. No, you're not. Cool. So, back in the oven. Hey, Google. Set timer for five minutes. Five minutes. Starting now. Okay. All right. One of my avocados is dying tonight. Okay. <sighs> Move the tip. 
Okay, cooling all avocados. Y'all can see at all. See how that's nice and green on the inside? That's what color the flesh is gonna be on the inside. If you get one there, if you pull the, the stem out and it's spotted, then that means you're gonna have spotted um, flesh as well. So, now you've all seen this a thousand times. Take your knife, cut into it. You have to get the stone, twist, twist, done. That easy. Stone, tap, twist, out. Super simple. Now, oh God. take your knife, get a little closer here for y'all. That's not an even line. Now there's that. As long as you don't press too hard, you'll never break the flag, never break the skin. <clears throat> but you definitely want to use a sharp knife for it. All your knives should be about the same sharpness. If you want to set it down on the board and hold it like this while you do it, that's cool. You know, safety, safety first, y'all. Seriously. Don't cut your fucking finger off and come blaming me. I didn't cut your finger off. Okay, so let's put these up. Okay, now here comes the absolute most important part of any meal the tasting. So, oh, that's on the floor now. I'll get that in a minute. But, okay. See the pico? How it's like super herby? Yeah. When you do pico, you can 100% control exactly how much everything goes into it. So, I like it super herbaceous. Let's try it. Some more salt. And then that, yum. Avocado, and that's going to be yum. Just tried it. Veggies. I thought it would. So another reason, another reason why we taste everything first. I'm glad I can make you hungry, day because you fed me many times. So yeah, you guys should never met my husband. Um, he was not part of dinner night at Moe's. He eventually became part of um like dinner night at like you know when I when, when we were still doing it doing it like at the house. But yeah, he was never part of the most thing. Slice this chicken up here. Got that one asshole piece still in there. Yum. I can hear it. <laughs> like it literally just like kind of I heard a sizzle coming out of the um, oven just now. It knows I'm talking about it. Yeah. Baked, so way healthier for you. I mean, a little bit of grease went in there. This shit is approved by every diet on the planet. The Pico. Yeah, no carbs, no gluten, no sugar, no paleo, no keto. I don't know what the hell this is. Whole30. That's a subway. So Mm. But hit this with where is it? A little bit more of the powder, and of course, a little more heat. All right, y'all. The only thing really left to do now is assembly. So I'm gonna push it in the bowl. Timer. <laughs> hey Google, stop. I'm gonna put the stuff in the bowl. I'm gonna take a picture of it. I'm gonna put it online. Blah 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 blah. You don't know the drill. So 
Yes, but thank y'all very much. Um, tomorrow night, I'm probably not going to be on. We have to go out of town. So, help a friend of ours. But love you, Pappy. <clears throat> and I will be back, I don't know, at some point this week. I'll do another one. Maybe Friday. Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Awesome Thursday. Y'all tell me what you want to see. I don't know what you want to see. I may have already cut it. I do a lot on this channel. Bye.